Hello everybody! So we've made it to Paris and I can't even tell you, you can probably see behind us how amazing this apartment is. Um, so we got the Eurostar to Paris today so it's really really super quick and easy and we were here by like I want to say like 10 to 2 local time but it's giving us like a nice portion of the afternoon to get ready because we're actually going to go out for dinner now and then we're going to head to the Yves Saint Laurent Museum tonight because on Fridays it's open till late and it's a little bit cheaper on a Friday so we thought we'll do it today to get like that big thing out of the way and also it doesn't waste our first day here we've done something really interesting in the evening so that's really really good and also we needed a few hours once we got off the train to sort of recuperate but I have to say, I need to show you this um, apartment because it's just incredible. So, I shall start with the view out on our balcony. We have this gorgeous table and chairs that I think we're going to have breakfast on. And I can't tell you how hot it is here. I think it's like 27 degrees at the moment. It's absolutely beautiful and I can't wait to have breakfast out on here in the morning. So that's the balcony and then you come in to the kitchen which you can see here is beautiful so so gorgeous through to the dining area with this stunning fireplace and you can see Phoebe getting ready there <laughs> um, oh my gosh it's so beautiful and then this gorgeous mustard sort of mid-century sofa I mean if I could design a flat this is what it would be like this this is the kind of the vibe I was trying to go for with my new place which I still need to do a flat tour actually that just reminded me um, yeah absolutely gorgeous they obviously have a child because there's like a little play area over here that leads out to another balcony over there but this is the living area and then this is the front door and you have like a sort of hallway running down here really really beautiful and just like a little toilet in there and then you come through and down this corridor is like a little library and it's so beautiful it makes me very very happy and in here we have the bathroom as you can see me and Phoebe have moved right in <laughs> um, with this gorgeous bath and this shower which I've already used and it's very very lovely um, and then last but not least the bedroom which again is very beautiful this is probably the least decorated room but I mean you only sleep in here so it's fine but yeah beautiful nice big bed we're definitely gonna have lots of room in there just gorgeous overall so Yes, like I was saying, um, I think tonight we're just going to go out for dinner. I think we might go get some pizza. And after dinner, we're going to go to the Yves Saint Laurent Museum. So I'm really, really excited. And then I think tomorrow, Phoebe hasn't been to Galerie Lafayette yet, which is basically like the Paris Harrods. So I feel that it is my duty to show her around there. So I'm very excited to go there. And then I think we're gonna head to some vintage shops and we both decided that we're going to do a bit of a clothes shop while we're here. It'd be rude not to, in the city of fashion. We would, it would be very naughty of us if we didn't. So I'm so excited to go to the um, Yves Saint Laurent Museum tonight because I just feel like what a good opportunity to make the most of the rest of our day um, and not waste it and it's cheaper to go on a Friday evening and what a lovely thing to do go to a museum for the evening beautiful and Yves Saint Laurent at that as well so it is all going very very well apart from we did get locked out for a good 20 minutes didn't we because neither me or Phoebe could work out how to open the front door for a while but we sorted it all out and we're fine now <laughs> I totally forgot to film it because we were literally so hungry <laughs> I've never put food in my mouth faster <laughs> than I did just then um, 
<laughs> oh, yeah, literally. I was like fighting to get in the bowl <laughs> like before Phoebe did. Um, we're now off. We're like running to the San Juan place because it's about to close. Well, not close, but it's about to be like the last entry. So we're going to try and run there and get in before the last one. YSL Museum and it was wonderful really really enjoyed it um, it's a little bit on the small side yeah, we, was, we both thought yeah. it was a little bit smaller than what we thought it was going to be but some really really amazing things and obviously it's got his like original studio in there which was amazing to go into yeah. so we're now just going for a little stroll around Paris and we've got a pretty nice view it's rather beautiful bloody gorgeous <laughs> We're going to try and do a couple of vintage stores and then I think we are going to head to Galerie Lafayette which is like a really um, amazing, basically like Paris's Harrods basically. Um, so we're on our way to a vintage store right now which I'm really excited about. Then we're going to go to Gal Galerie Lafayette and then we're going to head to another vintage store on the way back because that one doesn't open until 2pm. So yes, that is the plan for today. found some really amazing things I'll show you when we get back to the apartment um, and we are just arriving we've already had lunch as well which was really really good we just got a pizza to share and we are just coming up to Galerie Lafayette which is like the Harrods of Paris so I'm very excited <laughs> Hello everybody, so me and Phoebe have just been back um, at the apartment for a few, well like just over an hour now and we've literally <laughs> just been eating our body weight in biscuits and cups of tea and I've been having coffee um, just to rejuvenate really because we don't actually, I don't think we're going to go out for dinner today, I think we're just going to have dinner here um, and we've got some food in and then we're just going to head out for some drinks tonight uh, down by the Eiffel Tower on the Lacen. So I'm very excited for that. So we are just spending a couple of hours here resting, enjoying the apartment, pretending we live in Paris. And um, I thought while we're here, I'll do a little haul for you guys and show you what I got at the vintage stores. So two items first up. I am, I mean, I'm. this is granddad chic at its finest and I'm obsessed. So first up is this shirt. This is just a plain button down black shirt. It's got pointy collars. You can't see on here, but it has a very, very, very uh, pretty stitching down the front and then like boxy sleeves. And this is exactly the kind of shirt I was looking for um, 
this is exactly what I wanted to get um, while I was in Paris. So I'm overjoyed that I managed to get this. Um, my inspirations for this were Lizzie Hadfield, who's one of my favourite bloggers, and also my friend Lucy, because she was wearing a uh, Lucy and Yak uh, shirt the other day. And I was like, ah, oh, right, that's it. I need to get a, bu a button down shirt. Which, funnily enough, I haven't owned since this one, so I'm really excited. So this I got at a vintage store called Kilowatch Paris, um, which is only like 20 minutes away from our apartment. And it was 25 euros, so about 22 pounds. Um, so very, very happy with that. Next up are the trousers, which were also found at Kilowatch Paris. Um, I literally i've been looking for trousers like this i'm so sorry we we don't have like a full length mirror in this whole apartment that's the only fault we can find with it um so i'll just go like this uh i have been looking for trousers like this since about four or five months ago or kind of my whole life really but like realistically the last four months i've really been trying to find like a pair of beige cream stone colored chinos basically and i found these at the vintage store today they fit me like a glove they're a 25 inch waist they fit me perfectly i literally couldn't make them any better they've got belt loops which is amazing because i'm planning on getting a new belt for my birthday um they've got this incredible like seaming down the front these little pleats here really nice pocket size I can properly get my hands in there they cut off just on the ankle which is perfect for me and i'm just obsessed with them and these were 35 euros so yeah this whole outfit this as an outfit is absolutely killing me right now and if i untuck this shirt just to show you the length of it it comes down quite long so I, I would happily wear this um untucked as well actually i'm really into sort of untucked shirts at the moment too i'm sort of coming back around to that again um just for sometimes a more casual look i think this looks really nice with the trousers as well untucked i think that's just as much of a look as the other way so um yeah very scandinavian parisian european in general vibes going on with this outfit really really love it nice little bit of detailing here with the company which is called cuba vera and then the company that makes the trousers is called chic and blue um obviously these are vintage and second or even maybe third or fourth hand uh so you might not be able to buy these exact ones anymore but if you look on ebay for those companies i'm sure you can find something similar okay so next up we um after we went to gallery lafayette which is a sort of like designer store or like it's basically like harrods it's um a department store with loads of designer stores inside obviously i didn't buy anything there it was slightly out of my price range unfortunately um but we popped into uniqlo after because in brighton we don't have a uniqlo and we used to have one in london um, when i used to live near wimbledon there was one um in wimbledon but I haven't been to a Uniqlo in so long. So when I saw that there was a massive Uniqlo store, I was like, oh my gosh, we have to go in. And I just wanted to pick up some basics. So I just picked up this basic black t-shirt um, because I have black t-shirts, but they all have either a logo on the front or like big logos on the back or even both for some of them. Um, I only have two black t-shirts actually, but yeah, I just wanted to get a plain one. So I picked this up and this was £9.90 in pounds. Um, so I couldn't go wrong. So I actually picked up another colour which I will show you right now. So this is the other colour of the same Uniqlo t-shirt. This is in like a sort of khaki green colour. And just a side note, I, bo I bought both these t-shirts in a medium because I wanted them to be oversized. Um, however, moving on to the bottom half, I didn't try these trousers on in the shop and i am obsessed with them so these are also from uniqlo are you ready you might not even come out that good in this mirror but in real life they're looking insane okay ready <gasps> what <gasps> oh my god i love them so much they're so good so like these trousers from uniqlo but i can't even describe the material 
they're almost like a sort of jogger neoprene like they've got like like an elastic to them like they're kind of stretchy but like it's a sort of like a jogger but a smart pant they have a fly and everything like it's got a zip and a button here and like proper pockets but then they're sort of elasticated on the back like a jogger i i'm literally obsessed and they've got like cocoon legs so they sort of taper down but they're still sort of wide they look so expensive, like I can't even cope. I am obsessed with them. I mean, I can't show you properly in this mirror because you're getting like a down view, but they just look incredible. Like, if I do say so myself, I am obsessed. So, just to be clear, so I got these in a med I got the tops in a medium because I like them oversized. However, these trousers are in an extra small, which I would say was my true size in Uniqlo. Um, these are a 25 inch waist and they fit me like a glove. Um, literally, not too tight, not too loose. They've got a bit of room, like absolutely gorgeous. I just can't even like get over the material of them. I'm I wanna try and show you, but I don't know if you can like tell. But they're like, oh, it's just, oh my gosh, I'm just so in love with them. It's so hard to show you, like, how they actually look. I think that's going to be my best shot. Can you see that? They're insane. Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with them. I actually can't cope. Oh. And they're like a grey colour, but they've got, like, tan brown running through them. I don't know if you can see so they're like gray but they've got brown specks and they also do them in a black and a uh, sort of like a like a full tan brown but I wanted to get these because I don't have any trousers this color and I already have brown trousers and I have black trousers so I don't have any in this color so I thought I'd go for slightly different ones um but yeah obsessed I believe these were 34 pounds um but they are so like well made like you can just feel how ugh, they're just like tailored to perfection oh my gosh I'm obsessed so yeah just to clarify t-shirts are in medium but the trousers to fit me properly are an extra small so if you're five foot four and a size six to eight then that's what to go with in Uniqlo I would say like me I'm just gonna I'm just gonna appreciate the clothes I bought today. I'm very, very happy, Bunny. Yay! Yeah. Hello, everybody. Um, me and Phoebe are just shooting these outfits um, at the moment, so you'll see these over on the blog and Instagram. Um, don't know whether they'll be up before this video or after, but yeah, you'll probably either have seen them or they'll be coming up. Um, I just wanted to come on here quickly and just say, so with the Uniqlo pieces, obviously those were bought new. Um, and I know that I talk a lot about sustainable fashion and stuff, but I wanted to say that though, like these two basic t-shirts are things that I will keep for years now. Like t I live in t-shirts, living them and I feel like it's okay to like buy basics from new because they're something that you're going to live in for ages and that you're going to wear again and again. And same with the trousers. I, you will see me in those trousers in the next five blog posts probably because I have no problems with re-wearing clothes, like especially on the blog and everything. I rewear my clothes on the blog all the time and I know sometimes it's not available anymore and stuff like that but I'm not going to constantly buy clothes just to put on the blog and stuff because that's unsustainable and also just stupid um, and I only want to show you clothes that I love to wear and so if I'm wearing them a hundred times on the blog then at least you know that I really love wearing them and I'm showing you them in a variety of different ways and a variety of different outfits which I think is way more helpful than me constantly buying clothes so that you have new stuff to look at I think it's way more helpful to see how I style something seven different ways um, so these will be a staple part of my wardrobe now for the foreseeable future 
and of course the button down shirt and the trousers are both vintage so they are not new i would say these are at least at least from the 70s like these are old like the the label on them and just the way they're styled is just very 70s looking um even maybe even 60s like definitely before the 80s i'm sure of it and the shirt maybe not so much the shirt maybe 80s 90s but still they've been owned by multiple people um they are helping like an independent store and yeah it, it's just giving them a new lease of life so obviously that is a more sustainable way of shopping and i try very very hard to buy as much as i possibly can second hand now either from charity shops or vintage stores or depop so just wanted to put that in there because i know that i bought a couple of new things brand new today but they are staple basics that will stay in my wardrobe forever now and you may have noticed that i've not really been buying into trends anymore unless it's trends that i will wear all year round and for multiple years which aren't really trends they're just like things that have come up in fashion recently that i feel will stick around um an example of that will be what i'm wearing tonight which is going to be my asos trouser shorts like the sort of three quarter length shorts those were sort of part of like the cycle short um length trend and chanel did them um at the beginning of the year which is what inspired me but those are shorts that have been around i remember my mum wearing shorts like that and they'll come around again and i will keep them because they're basics they're black and i will wear them lots and lots so I just wanted to put that in here because like i said i know i bought some new things today but they're basics and they're staples and the other two things i bought are sustainably bought because they are second hand um and vintage so yeah um we're just shooting now which is so much fun we we're doing some really really interesting content so i'm really really excited and then we are going to go out for drinks tonight which i'm very excited for and hopefully we'll see <laughs> people doing a little dance do a little dance please, I missed it, yeah. Um, <laughs> and we will hopefully see the Eiffel Tower lit up um, because we came back before it got dark last night because we were very tired. Uh, so yes, exciting things are happening. Whoa, that's bright. <laughs> Hi guys, oh, am I in focus? Yeah, yeah, it's my eyes that are out of focus. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, I just thought I'd quickly film our outfits because the light is going down pretty quickly because it's actually quite late now. Um, it's quarter past nine and we've only just left the apartment because we were shooting all evening and we're coming out for drinks. So I just thought I'd quickly show you our outfits. So I'm wearing the shirt that I bought today with my Dior bag, weekday shorts, Tava sandals. Yes. And Phoebe is wearing, where's your top from Phoebe's? Collusion, ASOS. Collusion, ASOS. Vintage today. Got that today. Right. And um, Wilson, tennis trainers. And what's your bag? Oh, I'm a Burberry, my lovely baby. Oh, your little baby. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, I thought I'd quickly get those outfits in.